Hello, Paul here, and it's time to take emojis to the next level in Illustrator. And I'm gonna use this lovely little heart, one of the most used emojis. And what I wanna do is uh, I wanna add some shading and all this stuff. I don't have to do any of that. I don't have to throw any gradients in there or anything. All I want to do is jump in and select 3D and materials. Off to the side, you will see this panel open up. And then what I want to do is just inflate it. So we will inflate that heart. There you go. There you have it. You can see it's inflated. I can give it two sides and adjust the volume if I want to as well to make it look like a candy heart. Uh, but I really like this version. What I would like to do is actually adjust the lighting though. So sure enough, under lighting, we could take this and rotate that around. And hey, let's give it a lovely shadow as well and yeah we can change the height we could just get something nice kind of like that and then from there right up here at the top we could render that out as well it's as easy as clicking on this little button and it will go ahead and render out this 3d object that we actually made in illustrator which is just crazy to me and there it is our gorgeous heart but let's take this to the next level that's super cool what do we do with our little smiley face we can inflate it to get that look but what I want to do is I want to map this this smiley face onto this 3D object that I just made. I go to materials, right? And you can see right in here, there's this materials and graphics tab. You wanna just drag it right in here. Drop it on in there. There it is, sure enough. Then we could select our object and yeah, we could just select it and it will put it right on there. We could always adjust the size and position and all that stuff as you can see, but I like it uh, right there in the center. Maybe adjust the volume of it as well so it's a little more flat for us. And then of course, throw a shadow in there and adjust that lighting. And again, from here, I'll just go ahead and click to render it out. And there you have it. Look at how gorgeous this is. And by the way, if you get it cut off right here, that's just the shadow bounds. You could always adjust that. But look at the difference between these two. It's crazy that this is done in Illustrator. And again, we could do this with anything. I will just make a soccer ball really fast, chopping it in half and then revolving it. So I have this graphic. We'll drop that in there just like we did before. There it is, graphic. But now we'll go to our soccer ball. Now it's mapped on there. And yes, I can adjust the size and positioning of it as well. And if you want to, you could even change the perspective to get a more extreme view on that tile. It's just so fun and so easy to make 3D in Illustrator. So let me show some of these other ones. Easy to make, have a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, try it out for yourself most of all. Thanks so much.